Yeah, my name is Jörg Lev. I work as a technical product manager for VMware's cloud provider software business unit. And I want to show you today the different options that you have to extend VMware vCloud Director. Now, in the vCloud Director environment, the paradigms of vCloud Director are uh, separation between provider-facing um, tasks and tenant-facing tasks. And we have a strict multi-tenancy, so the different tenants and organizations that you um, provide services for um, are completely separated from each other. Now, vCloud Director provides out of the box a lot of functionality for infrastructure as a service offerings. So you can um, have tenants deploy their virtual machines using the vCloud Director user interface or even automate it using the vCloud Director APIs. But vCloud Director also provides a lot of different options that you can extend the functionality beyond infrastructure as a service. And in this presentation, I want to show you the different options that we have here. Now, first of all, vCloud Director provides a REST API. that allows tenants and providers to automate all sorts of tasks in vCloud Director. Now, the REST API um, is documented um, either in the documentation guide or in a Swagger-based documentation directly in vCloud Director itself. We do provide a bunch of different client bindings for this REST API. Now, for the REST API to um, make it more comfortable and easier to use for tenants or um, provider use cases. We do have a command line, which is called VCD, VCD CLI. We do have Python bindings. We do have Go bindings. And we have modules for Terraform and Ansible. In addition to that, um, there are also PowerShell commandlets. for vCloud Director, and there is a vRealize Orchestrator plugin. Now, these different options allow you to automate the vCloud Director tasks through the REST API. Examples for that is if, uh, as a service provider, you want to um, well become more efficient in your operations and you want to um, automate the tenant onboarding, so the creation of organizations and organizations VDCs, then that is something you can do um, using these different tools. Depending on the um, different things you want to achieve, there might also be some use cases for tenants to use um, these client bindings. So for example, if you have software developer tenants that want to automate the deployment of vApps and virtual machines in vCloud Director, they, for example, can use the Terraform or Ansible um, modules that we have or the command line to automate that. So one first use case for extending vCloud Director is to automate vCloud Director tasks. Now, in addition to that, um, to these client bindings, there are a few different extensibility options available. First of all, vCloud Director provides a framework with notifications or blocking tasks that allow you to extend vCloud Director functionality. For that, the vCloud Director can send out notifications or blocking tasks through an AMQP broker as AMQP messages, and then you can have, for example, we realize orchestrator workflows being kicked off based on the blocking task or notifications, and then um, use the orchestrator workflows to integrate vCloud Director, for example, with a CMDB, or to offer some additional services like um, creating automatically creating a backup job. That's the first scenario for extending vCloud Director to use the blocking tasks.
and notifications. The second extensibility that vCloud Projector provides, since a few versions now, is to extend the APIs by additional services. So that is something that is um, like the blocking tasks working um, in the backend under the hood of vCloud Director. It is possible that you extend and register additional services into the API of vCloud Director. And whenever a client calls these API calls with the extensibility, again, an AMQP message is sent to the AMQP broker. And then um, you can, for example, use Virilize Orchestrator workflows or any other system that also can receive AMQP messages to um, act on that and then actually fulfill the service request. So the second example for um, vCloud Director extensions is the extensibility of vCloud Director APIs. Now, the third extension that we have is, has been introduced in vCloud Director since version 9. And that allows you now to have vRealize Orchestrator workflows published into the service library, into the UI. This allows you to use the power and the um, extensibility and flexibility of vRealize Orchestrator to create any sorts of workflows. And these workflows can then be published into the tenant UI so that the tenant user directly can request um, these services without even knowing that in the background they are being fulfilled by Orchestrator workflows. When you publish these orchestrator workflows into the service library, then the workflow will show up in the tenant UI, and you can publish them on a per tenant base, or even publish them for the provider UI. So for example, if you have some automation workflows for maintenance or for reporting that are meant for your um, first level support folks on the provider level, then you can also publish these workflows into the service library and have the um, support folks calling the workflows through the vCloud Director UI directly. Now, the next extensibility that we have is focused on the UI. So since vCloud Director version 9.5, it is possible to customize the vCloud Director UI and to add some specific branding for the vCloud Director UI. With the branding, it allows, um, allows you to create a complete custom look and feel for the vCloud Director UI. In 9.5, that is a global setting. In version 9.7, it is possible to create different brandings, different colors, different logos, and so on, um, on a per tenant base. UI customization also allows you to add some additional static links, for example, into that small help menu in the vCloud Director UI to add um, or to link to your um, other resources or information web pages that you might want to offer to your tenants. Now, the last option to extend vCloud Director is to create your own custom UI plugin. This now offers all the flexibility um, that you want to have because with the uh, custom UI plugin, it allows you to add your own 
menu entries into the main menu of the vCloud Director portal. And then you are completely open to use whatever technology or design that you want to have for the UI part. And it's all um, yeah, shown within the vCloud Director framework. With UI plugins, you can build yeah, whatever additional service offering that you want and whatever you want in additional uh, functionality. UI plugins also allow you to add second day operations into the context menu. for VMs and vApps. That functionality is available since vCloud Director 9.7. And custom UI plugins also allow you to create um, additional tiles or custom tiles for the dashboard that a tenant user sees when he logs in to vCloud Director. Now, these different options allow you to extend VMware vCloud Director and to integrate and automate VMware vCloud Director. With all these different options and tools that we provide in addition to the core infrastructure as a service offerings that vCloud Director provides out of the box. These different extensibility options allow you to well increase your own efficiency running a vCloud Director environment. They also allow you to differentiate by offering, using the different um, extensibility to offer additional um, services beyond the regular VM and VApp deployment infrastructure as a service. And after all, you can use these extensibility to actually monetize additional services as a service provider by offering them on a per tenant base and then um, charge the tenant for your additional services. Now this is an overview about the different technologies and tools that we have available for vCloud Director that allow you as a service provider to use vCloud Director beyond infrastructure as a service offerings to, as a platform to offer all sorts of services to your tenants.